Oh, Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Tuesday the 28th of June 2022. Hope you're keeping well. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I've just had uh, breakfast, and sometimes I have breakfast which is just kind of traditional Western thing, maybe toast or, you know, sometimes even an English breakfast, in air quotes, uh, which in Thailand we call American breakfast, by the way. Um, and uh, Sometimes I go for the more traditional Thai approach, which is having rice and curry, which I had this morning. I say curry, you know, uh, by which I mean a kind of hot, spicy dish. It's not really like Indian curry, I would say, but um, anyway, it's certainly full of uh, chilies and uh, has woken me up this morning. I've had a, it's it's quarter to eight, actually, at the moment, but um, uh, I've been going since 5.30 a.m. this morning, been working. So I've been very busy. Uh, the breakfast will, uh, as I say, will give me a bit of a, a, a boost. And uh, I'm going to need it because it's quite a busy day for me today. Uh, right, uh, many things are happening in the world. Uh, the Russians have bombed a super, uh, or shopping mall. Uh, just so awful. And uh, America continues to reel from its... Um, uh, reversal of the uh, decision on abortions, right? Okay, let's uh, get on with our game of Sudoku and try to pretend none of that is happening here. Well, it's not <laughs> happening here, actually. Uh, seven blocks in such direction. What am I doing here? This is a medium level game on a Tuesday, which means it's usually a very easy game. So a quick rundown of the rules. We have rows across and we have columns down. You'll see in this row across there are nine squares, in this column down here there are nine squares, and we also have uh, these three by three blocks, and as we all know, three across by three down means there are nine squares in the block as well. Now what we try to do is we have to put our digits uh, one to nine in each row, each column, and each block. And of course, since there are only nine squares, we can put numbers one to nine, and we can't have any repetition without repetition hesitation or deviation if you know what that is uh, right so I was uh, about to say that seven is in this column already disallowing sevens in these two squares and seven is in this row already meaning seven cannot appear here so look in this block down here which has uh, um, five numbers already uh, we can put a seven here because seven is not allowed to go in these squares or these squares that's right okay Phew, that was long, um, difficult to explain, easier to see than it was to um, waffle on about. One block's up here, one block's up here. There is only one empty square in this block up here, which does not yet contain a one. So we know that the one goes there. Got the idea now? Okay, great. Thank goodness for that. Um, right. Yesterday's game, yesterday's uh, game, on a, a Monday's... Monday's Guardian is always what I call beginner level puzzle and Tuesday's is what I call easy. Well yesterday's was somehow slightly more difficult than the regular beginner level that we have on a Monday. Uh, I don't mean it was really a you know impossible puzzle or anything, it just seemed to be slightly more difficult to me. Four across here, four up here, four goes in that square there. Eight blocking across here and eight blocking across here leaves one empty square here. Probably eight to go in, eight blocking across here, and eight blocking across here, and eight going up here, puts an eight in that square there. It's really um, freshened up my morning with <laughs> that. was so spicy. Okay, we have two blocking up here, so two must go in that square, the only available square. Now we have two missing numbers here, so we should investigate what they are. And when we investigate, we'll find that they are five and six. Okay, so that means 6 is in either this square or this square, and 5 the same. 
So what does it mean? It means that sixes are not allowed in this column. So we can't have six up here. And now we see six blocking across here. And so that means six must be in that square there. We're going to use this again. The six blocking down here. Actually, we don't really need to, but six blocking down here, six blocking down here, six across here, and six across here. So you can see just one available square. And then six blocking down here and six blocking across here and six going up there. Six will be there. And uh, it looks like we've got only this. Uh, why have we not finished the sixes? Ah, because this. Okay, so now we know this. We had earlier we said five or six in these squares, right? Six blocks here. That's the final six. And now we can remember that five is our other missing number. And we'll take that five and say five blocking down here, down here, and across here, five is needed for that square there. <clears throat> uh, the two blocks all the way up here, leaving us a space there where we can put our two. And missing numbers here, we can get this number here now, because we all we have to do is work out the missing number here. And then we can get that one there, can't we? So the missing numbers here are, we've got one, two, we don't have three, and we don't have nine. So that, those are, must appear in those two squares, three and nine. So if we look down here now, we know that three and nine are there. We've got one, we've got two, we've got three somewhere there, but there's no four anywhere. Everything else we've got, so we know that has to be a four there. There's only one digit missing from this column down here now, and that is a nine. So I'll place the nine there. The missing numbers here now are three, seven, and eight. We have a three, a seven. We don't know anything about the eight, so we can't complete that just yet. We have to wait and come back to that a bit later. Okay. <clears throat> but we have made good progress. Uh, uh, this game already looks uh, more like a typical Tuesday puzzle. I'd say it's easier than yesterday's uh, easy level game as is often the case with the Guardian. When we look at this row across the top here, uh, we can see we don't yet have a three. We have one, two, four. We don't have a three yet. You can see this three blocks this square from becoming a three, right? Three up there. And this three blocks this square from becoming a three. So again, there's only one empty square left. So we, oh, excuse me. So we know that three goes there if we can click the right button on the keyboard. Excuse me. All right, let's have a click on the digits and see what's uh, possible, or rather, what's easy to see. Six is done. Don't need to look at sixes anymore. Oh, well, today's game is rather tougher than the average Tuesday puzzle, as well, by the looks of it. That's a surprise. <clears throat> Well, okay, the Guardian's easy and medium levels on a Monday and Tuesday this week are just a smidgen uh, more difficult than normal. I don't mean that it's going to be impossible or anything like that. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, normally they're so easy that you don't really have to think about it at all. But, um, uh, not now. So what can we do?
Okay, uh, we don't yet have a four in this row here. We've got one, two, three, and five, but we don't have a four yet, so four blocks here. So we know that a four has to be in that square there. And now we've only got one number missing in this row, which is a nine. So we'll place the nine. Now, we don't have nine in this uh, top row either. Nine blocks here, so the nine goes here. And the missing number here now is a five. So now the missing numbers here are seven and nine. The sound of a landline. Does anybody have actual landline telephones anymore? I only ever use mobiles. <laughs> um, right, what else do we need? I'm still um, still suffering from from my. Uh, extra spicy breakfast. I think it's probably because I haven't had anything spicy for some time. Okay, so five blocks across here, and five blocks across here, and five blocks down here. So that would be the location for our five. Then five blocking up here, and five down here. Five must be there. Now, the missing numbers in this row are one, five, and nine. We see there's no one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four, there's no five, we've got six, we've got seven, we've got eight, there's no nine. One, five, and nine. So let's consider this square here. We ask ourselves, can it be one maybe can it be five no we have two blocking fives can it be nine no we already have a five in this block here so it must be one the missing numbers here now are seven and two and we see an intersecting two here so that means the two goes there and the seven is in that square there now remember, this is one of the missing numbers up here is a seven, so we'll bring it down here like this. Seven blocking down here, seven across here. Seven fits there, then seven across this way and this way. So that's our seven there. Uh, this three blocks this square, but we still need a three in one of these two empty squares down here. So it's limited only to that square there, and then eight will finish both this block and this column. Okay. Now we have eight blocking down here, down here, and across here. So our eight will fit there, then eight blocks across here and down here. That will be our eight. And the last digit to get down here uh, is a nine, I think. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I think this game is easier than yesterday's uh, easy level game, but maybe I'm just more awake now that I've had something spicy to well, keep my brain um, uh, over jostling and uh, whatever. Um, okay, uh, nine blocks across here and nine blocks down here. So that will be our nine. The last number we need for this row is a five. Five. Please hit the right number on the keyboard. When you say five, hit five. That's a five there as well. And that's our finished, our last five. Five, six, and eight are now complete. Um, there's one digit missing from this column down here. It looks to be a one, so let's put that in. Missing numbers here now are 
Uh, well, there's one number missing across this row, which is a 2, so let's do that immediately. And then the last number to get here is a 3, I think. Let's get the right key. Uh, back in this direction now, missing numbers here are 2 and 4. We don't have any 2s or 4s up there, so we can't tell which is which. Missing numbers here and here are 1 and 9. Well, here's an intersecting 9. So the 9 goes there, and the 1 is in that square there. Now, 1 blocks this square, so we know 1 goes here. And 1 blocks up there and across there. That's our 1. Just one more number to get here, which is 4. Let's place that in 4 blocks down here, so that will be our 4. 2 is the last number for this particular block. Then 2 up, 2 up here. Excuse me. Two up this column, two up this column. It's got to be a two. That's the final two. One number missing from here. Uh, it's a seven. And uh, now we've only got this top section to do now. We've got one, two. We don't have three or four here. Well, we can see an intersecting four. So the four goes there and the three goes there. And the three blocks back this way meaning that's the 3, and the last number to place there is a 9, 9 blocks across there with a 9, and the final number here is a 7, and that's the end of today's game. As I said, I think that's easier than yesterday's um, easy level game, um, as is often the case with the Tuesday medium. Wednesday medium tends to pick up just a notch, and approaching an actual medium level puzzle, Thursday, Friday, we have hard level games and they approach more like medium level games. And then Saturday, it's an expert, which could be anything from easy to actually an expert game. We just don't know. Okay, that's it. Hope to see you later today, although it's going to be quite in quite some time for other Sudoku games if you are a player of all levels. Bye bye.